for each loop. So in Java, uh, the for each loop is another form of a for loop to work with arrays and collections. So we can say that it is an enhanced form of the for loop. You'll see what I mean. The use of the enhanced for loop is easier to write and it makes your code more readable. So if you look at the syntax here, first we declare an array with initial values and then we use the for each loop. So instead of an array, we can also use lists. In four parentheses, the first element is a single item from the array and the second item is the list of an array. Colon is used between them. Please note here that if you do want to use the index of the element inside the loop, you have to use the for loop and you cannot use the for each loops. So in our example, it'll iterate through each element in the numbers variable, storing it in the number variable and executing the loop body. So let's have a look and see how that works. We'll do up a few examples with the for each loop. In the exercise project, right-click on the loop package and select New, Class, and specify the class name as For Each Loop, and select the checkbox for the main method. Now first, we'll do an example to iterate through elements of an array using the standard for loop. So let's declare a char array. Its name will be letters, and its initial value, um, let's call it H, E, L, L, and O. Now, let's start to write the for loop. In for loop, we can use the variable I, and we'll declare and initialize variable I with a value of 0. And our test condition is I less than length of array letters, and we'll increase the value of i by 1. So let's print the elements of the array by using the index in the print method. All right, so let's run the code. And you see there the elements of the array in the console. Now, we can perform the same example using a for each loop. So let's copy the declaration part of the array from the previous code, and we'll start to write the for each loop. So in four parentheses, we declare a variable item with char type, and we'll add a colon as well as the letters array. Now let's add the variable item into the print method. Okay, so now we can run the code, and you'll see there the elements of the letters in the array in the console. So you can see the difference between the loops, right? In the for each loop, the code has reduced significantly. Also, we don't use the index and counter in the for each loop. So now let's expand in our example. Uh, let's take a closer look at how the for each loop works. The for each loop iterates through each item in a given letters array. And it stores each item in the variable item and then executes the body of the loop. So let's do another example by using the for each loop. We'll write a program to calculate the sum of all elements of an integer array. Let's declare an integer array and call it numbers with initial values 6, 4, 3, and 5.
and then we'll declare a variable sum. Initial value is zero. In for parentheses, we declare a variable num with int type, and we add a colon and numbers array. Now we assign a sum plus num to the variable sum with add and assignment operator. So let's print the value of the num in the for loop by using the print method. And then finally, we'll use the print method after the for loop to display the sum of the numbers. All right, so let's run the code. And you see the values of the num and sum of the numbers is 18.